we actually sat down and had a chat with the Nigerian ambassador to Qatar, Yakubu Ahmed, and he spoke about the whole visa issues, the higher card, and lives of Nigerians living in Qatar. Not just Nigerians, but the living, well, the system of living here in Qatar. Let's listen to that chat, and we'll be back. Sea of Nigeria in Doha has reiterated an advisory to Nigerian travelers regarding strict rules of behavior demanded by the authorities in Qatar. Such an announcement was published by the FIFA tournament that began on the 20th of November and will last until the 18th of December. In this regard, the embassy has stressed that it wishes to advise fans from Nigeria traveling for the soccer fiesta to obey and respect the laws of Qatar. Our ICE team went to the Nigerian embassy in Doha and interviewed the ambassador as we had an exclusive chat on the World Cup, Nigeria and the people in Doha. All right, sir, it's been a unique World Cup from the perspective of the Nigeria High Commission. How has been the Qatar 2022 experience? Yeah, actually, it's a wonderful experience I'm having for this World Cup. It's the first of ever of this kind because uh, this is the only World Cup that is held, held in one city. You can watch four games in a day. As it is, every day I watch two games. And the, the excellent infrastructure are there, thanks to Qatar government. Uh, they have excellent infrastructure on ground and they, they accommodated people. A lot of fans are happy being in Qatar despite the criticism. Uh, this is going well. As been. Notwithstanding um, the failure of Nigeria to qualify for the World Cup, so many Nigerians actually came in as volunteers. What do you say about the influx of people into Qatar? Yeah, there is a lot of Nigerian volunteers registered and they are in, in Qatar and they, they are participating actively, contributing to their own quota. As is, even though our teams are not here. Even my family, some of them are registered as a volunteer. Every day they go and work voluntarily. So we encourage a lot of Nigerians to register and volunteer. So our presence is in people everywhere in Qatar. From your perspective, what do you make of the heat the Western world has given Qatar in the build up in terms of the migrant workers, in terms of the LGBTQ community and the rights here in Qatar? Yeah, actually, the criticism were totally uncalled for. Uh, for and I'm happy that Qatar did not allow the negative uh, voice effect to holding uh, to, for holding to draw back, draw them back for holding this World Cup. Uh, each nation has its own tradition and its own culture, and uh, if you have a peaceful place to live, you have to respect the right each country and its culture and tradition. And uh, you are a living witness, you are in Qatar now, and you have seen how accommodated they are. Go to the, all the fan zone, people are enjoying themselves, dressed like Qataris, and they, they are enjoying, it's not only just for LGTB or drinking beer or even the street that you can enjoy yourself. You can enjoy yourself for other means, and they are very accommodated. It's uncalled for, and I'm happy things are going fine. And now, for the period of the World Cup, there's been a lot of freedom and everything. Would you say, uh, would you support the fact that uh, there's been a payment of people to actually come out to speak up for Qatar, or this is what of things here? That is how Qataris are. They are very, they are very good. They are very receptive to visitors, and uh, you can, you are a journalist. You can testify that. Go to all the fun zone in Qatar, go to Lucille, go to Albida Park, go to the stadium and see how you, you, you will interact with the Qataris. They accommodate people. Yeah. All people, those are negative uh, information they are putting all over the media. Are you preparing for the eventuality of Nigerians coming to Qatar and being stranded here or some refusing to go? Yeah, because of that experience, we have started experiencing this thing and we sense it will happen with our people. There is a bad egg back home and some people, those who are at this end, uh, 
telling them that they are getting them visa, telling the innocent Nigerian that they are getting them visa when they come here after World Cup, they will be able to secure a job yeah. and to continue them. They are not ready to go back. And they pay huge amount of money to Nigerian travel agents and the some of the link around this Gulf region. And the for well, last week we have uh, many people. That's the reason why I issue a travel advice, advising Nigerians when they are coming to Doha with that higher visa. Higher visa, higher card is not a visa. It's not a working visa and cannot be transferred or converted to a working visa. So if anybody deceiving them that uh, by getting higher card for them to come to Doha after World Cup to after the tournament to get a job, uh, they are deceiving them. But for so, those that have actually fallen into the strap. Yeah, we have a lot of them. What we are advise them as quickly as possible to facilitate for them to change their ticket to go back to Nigeria after the World Cup or immediately. Because some of them, they were stranded. A lot of them, their money pay up to 5 million naira to come to Doha, to get that hire something to come to Doha. And they will register them with the hotel. And when they reach that hotel, the hotel, they don't have their booking. And they, some of them, they are sleeping on the streets. Some of them are coming to the embassy to sleep here. It's unfortunate. Uh, it's what is happening now. And we are trying to track down those who are behind those things back at home and this in Doha. And at least we can deal with them. But one funny thing I experienced, even those who were deep and they were stranded here in Doha, if you ask them to tell them you the travel agent or the detail of those travel agents so that we can do something back home to see how we can do something. They are not ready to volunteer the information as if they are under oath. So, <laughs> it's most unfortunate. <laughs> yeah, they are suffering, but uh, still they are not ready to disclose. What would you say to Nigerians? I would like to reiterate the fact about the higher card issue and visas. Yeah, higher card is just for people. It will allow you to come and watch the tournament and go back. It cannot be converted as a uh, working visa or tourist visa. We have a very vibrant Nigerian community. Nigerians in diaspora, they are very active. And they, we are always getting in touch with them. And they are lazy with us to see how we can help them to put themselves together. Uh, most of these stranded Nigerians, we are having some of them we will contact the Nigerian community and they do assist some of them they accommodate them before their date we encourage them to change the date of travel and the Nigerian community are accommodating them where they cannot accommodate them the small room we have in the embassy or this and we try to accommodate and see how we can get because actually some of them they are not ready to stay in Doha they are not ready to stay. Some of them, they send a lot of voice mail to me that are uh, complaining that uh, they were uh, misled, telling them that as soon as they arrived in Doha, but the time they went to, they met a uh, recruitment agency, they would be able to get a job. And they found that uh, uh, the, and the currency here is very... Uh, very expensive. One hundred dollar will not be enough for them to take them for a two or three days. We cannot entertain some people uh, bad act to be spoiling our people names. Yeah. Anybody that is spoiling Nigerians' name here yeah, will not take it uh, lightly. I will make sure that the fire will, will be deported back to Nigeria.